What's up guys, it's Kaze here. So the last time we saw The Rock, he left Cody face down in the rain covered in blood. And a few interesting things happened in between last week and this week. For one, when the cameras were done rolling, The Rock continued to beat Cody with that belt. Man, imagine being the cameraman and you have to tell The Rock that the scene's over. What, just because the show's over, that doesn't mean that the stops. Are, are you gonna tell him? Fans are also very into the beatdown that The Rock gave Cody last week. I saw a lot of excitement and speculation that the Attitude Era may be coming back, and although that would be great, I don't think it needs to. In the last few months, look what they've been allowed to do, and it's still a PG rating. All I ask is that they be more consistent with it. Around WrestleMania time, the swearing does increase and the blood does sometimes come out. However, usually after WrestleMania, it slows down immensely. So here's to hoping that with their move to Netflix next year, they're able to maintain consistency with being edgy. So it was revealed on SmackDown that it was Roman Reigns who sent The Rock after Cody. And I'm glad they're doing stuff like this because it gives everything a bit more context. It also adds new pieces to the puzzle that you can introduce to the story. And this brings us to this week's Monday Night Raw. And they start off by saying that Cody's not medically cleared to be in the arena. I don't know how he's not medically cleared to enter a building, but that's what we got. The Rock comes out and he cuts a pretty decent promo on how he put hands on Cody last week. Then he shows a short montage of how kids were crying after the beatdown. One little girl cried because she actually thought The Rock took Cody's life. And it actually reminded me of how wrestlers would do crazy spots or get beaten up or you know explode. And as a kid I would really think these things happened to them. And I think that's what it's all about. Not scaring little kids. That would be insane but reminding adults about their childhood. So Rock also mentions ratings and attendance records again, and I'm seeing a lot of mixed reactions, but regardless, the numbers speak for themselves. They have increased. Roman comes out, and his entrance is only about five minutes long. The first hour of Raw was commercial free, so I really thought they were gonna milk it, and five minutes is still ridiculous, but they've been longer. Michael Cole also mentions that in Roman Reigns' A&E documentary, he said if he loses this Sunday, He's gone. Roman cuts a promo pretty much thanking The Rock for taking care of Cody. And now comes Seth Rollins, and he's entering through the crowd again. Now, I've said it in previous videos, but I believe when they go to the crowd, specifically Cody and Seth, it's them portraying that they are the people's champion. They're willing to walk amongst the people. Seth challenges either The Rock or the Roman Reigns to a match later that night. Instead, we get Solo. Oh yeah, this match is also under bloodline rules. It's also revealed later that night that Roman's gonna be the one inducting Paul Heyman into the Hall of Fame. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I feel like they're better choices, but they either can't be mentioned or work for AEW. I saw a lot of people saying CM Punk would have been a great choice, but Punk hasn't been around for the last 10 years of Heyman's career, and I felt like over that time, Heyman and Roman probably got pretty close. So it's the main event, and the match completely breaks down as expected. It's also assumed that Roman Reigns leaves for the night. And Seth is pretty down bad and looks like he's next on The Rock's hit list. And that's when we get Cody coming out. Cody goes toe to toe with The Rock and actually gets some pretty good offense in. He's going for a rock bottom through the announce table on The Rock. And out comes Roman to pretty much even the odds. We get a glimpse of what the tag team match is going to be like this weekend at WrestleMania. And then The Rock and Roman completely destroy Seth and Cody. The Rock's wearing that belt again that no one knew he was wearing and he gets to whipping both of them. And now that WrestleMania is this week, I do wanna say I'm not a big fan of how the baby faces were treated throughout this entire feud. Just verbally and physically, they looked inferior to the bloodline throughout this whole time. And I thought on the go home show of Raw, we would at least get that. And it ends with even more bloodline dominance. Now there's still one more show this week and that's SmackDown before WrestleMania. But at this point, I feel like it's too late. Like Cody's been slapped, He's been beaten, his family's been disrespected. Like storyline wise, what has Cody done that would have me believe he's gonna win this Sunday? And there is such a thing as being too much of an underdog to the point where if you do win, it's not really believable that you are able to win because you've shown no signs of being capable of doing that. And this isn't Cody and Seth slander. It's more so WWE's issue with writing strong baby faces. It's like either you're Triple H or John Cena who can't ever lose 
or you're like Daniel Bryan or Sami Zayn who always lose until you get that one big victory. I'm hoping Cody doesn't end up one of those cases just because there's so much you can do with that character. Although Money in the Bank is coming up soon and that does have me worried about Cody's title reign if he does win. There are a lot of high stakes for this year's WrestleMania. This may actually be one of the biggest WrestleManias ever if not the biggest WrestleMania ever. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I got a pretty interesting video for you guys coming out this week, so hopefully you'll enjoy it. I can't say this enough, but thank you so, 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 so much for all the support that you've been giving me. I will catch you guys next time. Put your seatbelt back on, and until next time, keep it kaze.